Gomaco, líder mundial en equipos para la pavimentación de caminos con concreto, nos muestra su nuevo modelo de pavimentadora de encofrados deslizantes desde su stand en la última World of Concrete 2016. Estamos en el Mundo de Concreto 2016, World of Concrete. Obviamente no podíamos dejar de mostrar lo que es una pavimentadora de concreto. Una de las marcas más conocidas, obviamente, es Gomaco. Para eso lo tengo acá Kevin Klein, que es vicepresidente de Ingeniería y Desarrollo de la, de la marca. Well, this is a new model for us this year. It's a slip form paver uh, for flat work, uh, concrete, or it can be used to do barrier walls and things like that as well. We're displaying it here today as a, uh, a slip form paver set up at uh, 16 feet wide. Um, and uh, it's a new model. It has uh, dual telescoping capability in the frame so that the frame can tele telescope seven feet in each direction. It has uh, uh, slew ring steering on the, on the tracks so that it can steer a great amount in both directions and uh, it can put the machine into different configurations where we can put it into a transport configuration or transverse configuration, drive the machine sideways, endways in a normal paving mode operation. So there's, a, there's many new features on the machine that when we walk around we'll kind of point out and talk about a little bit. On the front here, uh, for a slip form paver, this is where you would introduce the concrete mix into the, uh, into the uh, machine where you're going to do the paving. And you'll see that we have vibrators up here in the front that will vibrate that material and um, compact it and, and then slip it out the back of the machine. Uh, you can see that the, the vibrator circuits are all connected to hydraulics up here on the, uh, on the front of the machine and each, each one has its own individual variable speed control. There's also an auger in there to distribute the material back and forth a little bit to the side. Some of the new features on the machine are the telescoping frame sections. The, the machine can expand seven feet in each direction so it can go from, 20, or from 12 foot paving out to 26 foot paving uh, without adding any frame inserts or any extensions, anything like that. Some of the new features on the tracks, you'll see that we have slew ring steering so we can turn these tracks 90 degrees plus so that we can steer in this and in, in travel in this direction or we can steer in, in, the, in the normal, what we consider the normal pave mode as well. We have slew rings up here. This is called a pivot arm that attaches to the leg. We have slew rings here that will take this pivot arm around and put it into a transport mode so that the, the uh, contractor can drive it up onto a, in the US we call it a trailer or a float, and uh, drive it up on the float for transport. So we can put it into a transport configuration. But before we, we continue, what, what about the speed? Uh, it goes very fast. It goes uh, over 100 foot per minute, which is not fast, but it's, it's fast for a, for a slip form paver because of the new travel kind we had. Um, normal paving operation, you're normally paving in around say 5 to uh, 15 foot a minute max but because of the censored features in all of the legs and the tracks we're able to control the machine very well in reverse and back up at a high rate of speed so the contractor could get back in a position to pave again that's important okay yes we have 42 inch stroke legs on the machines it will lift itself up 42 inches into the air. You normally would only pave somewhere between 19 to uh, 0 to 19 inches is what, we're, what the side plates are on the, on the form itself. Uh, we have, we do all of our own controls. We do our own software development for the controls on all the machines. So you'll see that the, the, uh, the G Plus controller parts around the machine. We can uh, do remote diagnostics to the machine for, uh, from, from our office in Ida Grove to anywhere in the world with the, with the telematic systems that are on the machine. Um, everything for productivity, yeah. Everything about productivity so that the contractor can get the most work done. If he has a problem, he can we can log into his machine and do some looks at checks on it to see what he may have, what it, where his problems are. We can do those diagnostics uh, through, the, through the telematic system that's on the machine, help them get up and get going as fast as they can and be running again. We can run this machine with 3D machine control. This machine is set up to run uh, with total stations so that we're, instead of setting string line on the side, we can run the machine under 3D machine control. 
here you can see where some of the sensor uh, inputs plug into the machine, where you can see where some of the controls would be. We also have a display here that is exactly the same as the display that the operator has up on top of the machine. So much of the work uh, in controlling a machine is done from the ground men that are working around the pavement. So he can, he can see the same thing that the operator up above is seeing with this display here. And, and here you'll see string line sensors if you're not running on 3D with, with total stations, you're following a string line with, uh, with the paver to, to do the grade and steering control. You'll see that we have our GSI uh, uh, smoothness indicator here, the, the Gomenko smoothness indicator. What it's doing is it's, it's monitoring the concrete that's coming out of the, out of the uh, pan as it's being paved, and it gives the, offer, or it gives the uh, contractor instant feedback on what the smoothness of the slab, what the ride of the slab is going to be. And the display for it, which would normally be out on the side of the machine, he's actually seeing real-time PI graphs or IRI numbers. He can go in and do a report to see how well he's paving that day. And you'll see this, this graph is slowly scrolling across the screen as he, as he moves forward. And you can flip into, you can look at reports for what, uh, you can look at an IRI report, different traces. We normally put anywhere from one to eight traces across the machine. Most times we'll put two traces on, one in the center line of each lane. But he's looking here, you can see what his IRI numbers are coming right out of the pan. If he's not getting good numbers, if his numbers are high, he, need, he knows that he needs to take a look before the concrete hardens so that he can and make some adjustments to the operation of the system. This is a nice piece of feature. Yes, it is. It's a very good feature it's for... Game standard with it? it it's an option that can be added to the machine. Not everybody uses it, but we certainly recommend it. Thank you for the interview. It was it's a nice new uh, new product here you have here. You're very welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. ¿Qué estás esperando? Suscríbete ya.